Hello. Hello and welcome to another Skit Wins podcast. Whoop, whoop. Woo. I feel like it would be more entertaining if we had like a theme, a tune. theme tune. Yeah. Skit Twins podcast. Are we gonna? Um, It'll change every week, but you know we'll just go with that for this week. Yeah. We have the cold, in case you can't tell. Yeah. I I just blew my nose though, so I can't do the really annoying like sniff thing. No, I'm good. I'm good. Did it's good too. I just practiced. <laughs> just <laughs> tested, practice. tested myself there. So um, how are you all doing? I hope you're well. If you're not yeah. well, then. I hope you get better soon. Yeah. I mean, we have the cold, but we're fine. We're surviving. It's, just, it's weird having the cold in hot weather, though. Yeah. Like, but that every- seems to always happen. I, well, no, I do get the cold in winter. But, yeah. Everyone thinks it's hay fever, though, and they're like, oh, isn't hay fever awful? And you're like, no, I've I've just got the cold. I'll be all I've right. just got the cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all that noise, though. I don't mind you doing it at home and stuff, but like, see you out in public and stuff. Can you just like fair enough if you don't have a tissue? But like, it's people. No, you, no, it's people who try and clear the phlegm out of their throat that I get. Oh, that makes me want to like. That makes me want to sick. <laughs> it makes me want to vomit. Which would you prefer? Do you prefer someone sniffing, like, like constantly sniffing, or someone blowing their nose really loudly? Which do you think is worse? I suppose blowing in your a nose. Public setting. Blowing your nose that gets it over and done with. But, but if it's like really loud and snottery sounding. But like, don't face people like. Sort of, I don't know. Have the courtesy to look away. Almost. I always, if I do, if I do it, I always try and like go to the bathroom or whatever and do yeah, it. Yeah, if you can, but if you can't, or if then, not, then like, I kind of turn away because yeah. it's kind of like that's really gross. I don't want everyone watching me blowing my nose. I feel really awkward blowing my nose in public too. So do I. It's just like, like you almost. I think most people just like get a tissue and just sort of wipe away the snot that's dripping oh, down. That feels so horrible, and then you're still sitting there all bunged up. Like oh no, nah. just go away and blow your nose. Just go outside. And Snodders out. <laughs> we, yeah. almost, we almost didn't make a podcast today. Um, yeah. We had triathlon training this morning and we came back and we were just like, you know what? Bed seems like a good idea. Because we left the house at seven and we didn't get back until three. Just after three. Just after three. And we hadn't had a lunch yet. And I think we were just like so done. And then we were like, let's just, let's just go sleep. And then dad called us at like half five for... What is essentially lunch? Yeah. I think all we've had today is like basically a protein bar. And <laughs> and we had food. And but like to be, f- to, be fair though, good. to be fair though, lunch was supposed to be like at half three because he said all he had to do was put on the potatoes. And we were like, that's okay. And he was happy enough to do that. And then he didn't. And then it's half five. To be fair, before we left Belfast, we could have had beans on toast. I know, but then we had food. He had said we had food at home and we're money even experts. <laughs> Oh yeah, money saving. Ex- that sounds better. Money saving experts. You've got a bit of sriracha on the side of your mouth. It's not really sriracha. Annoying. It's spicy sauce. Whatever. Oh, she's just so you know, she's just licked her thumb I've and done is the mummy using thing. it to wipe my face. You've got it all down your chin. That's too. disgusting. I'll just I'll do it myself. Yeah, that's okay. Go. You do you do it yourself. Um. Anyway, will we? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. My voice went there. Um. My voice broke. <laughs> I'm a man. Um. Uh, will we do the? We'll do the Northern Irish phrase of the week because we don't really need Judith for that. I'm sure back. It's okay. is back anyway. Wait, is it all gone? Just let me know. Yeah, Update. more or less. Okay. It's not going to annoy me now. Like, it's it's not as obvious. <laughs> uh, but uh, just, will we let you do the Northern Ireland, Ireland Irish phrase of the week? Okay, sure. Um, you need to do a theme tune first. It's the Northern Irish phrase of the week. Was that good? Boop, yeah, I like yeah. the trumpet. Right, you beat. Again. Right, you beat. And enough, right? So that just means sort of, is that, um, I don't know, you always say at the end of phone calls, don't you? Yeah. Right, bye, 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 right to be, bye, 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 bye. I suppose it's sort of like, you okay? Or uh, that's okay? Grand, right? No, no bother. Yeah. So there we go, that's, that's the right now. It's like the Australian version of, she'll, she'll be right. right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you really get to see the thing. We're like twins. I'd love yeah. to have a twin. At the class. I don't know if you've ever noticed, if you follow us both on Twitter separately, apart from Skit Twins, you'll see every now and then Chloe and me will tweet each other and pretend that we're not related. And just be like, I'd love to have a twin. Oh, I know, having a twin would be great. You'd always have someone to take selfies with. It would be so good. Someone who's like the exact same as you. You'd be able to share clothes. But yeah, like we basically just pretend that we're not related, which is class crack, obviously. Acting. <laughs> Goals, that's the goal. 
Um, but yeah, we said we were at triathlon training. We have a triathlon on the 22nd of July. Two weeks. It's the Titanic triathlon, so if you're about Belfast, Mona. I was going to say. <laughs> we're competing against each other, though, so like, yeah. Um, but we're in the VI section, so we have to run with a guide. Uh, each, not sharing one. Just share one. <laughs> um, but I so met my guide for the first time today, and she is lovely. That's good. She's great. I We got on really well, and... Hopefully we'll do well in this triathlon. To be honest, I'm not aiming to place. I'm aiming to finish. Yeah. That's, that's my like, thing. Crawl across the finish line, roll Although across Ge- it. Although Georgia did say, Georgia's my guide and she's class. Annie's my um, guide. Georgia said to me, she was like, so my aim in this triathlon isn't just to get you to the end alive, it's to get you to the end in front of your sister. And I was like, yes, she gets it. I just hit something. I was going to try not to do that. I'm just going to put my hands in my pockets. Yeah, well, Annie's not overly confident at the minute, so we're just we're aiming to finish at the minute. But that's that's basically my aim. I don't mind if I don't beat you, but I would like to. Yeah, if that makes sense. Or at least come like close to you. I'd like to not come last, but yeah. at the same time, I don't think there's that many other people in our category. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, we'll it'll be fine. Someone has to come well, last. I'll, to be fair, I'll in, take the fall. In two weeks, we'll be doing another podcast. Hopefully, either on the Sunday if we're if we've got energy. Or on the Monday, um, so, you know, because Monday, I don't think we'll get to the gym to do training. I think, I think we'll, we'll just probably be just be coped. Yeah, so, we'll still get a podcast out for you. Yeah, even if we're tired, because we can just have a nap and then some food and then we'll be great, like like today. Yeah. Which is... I'm really warm. It is it is really warm. And I do not cope well in the heat. Especially like, at night time. Like, it's okay. I think we already talked about this. Like, yeah, in the I think we did, yeah. Nights. Oh, yeah. Fights, long, tights, and then the long, and, 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 yeah. Yeah, That one. Like, no, but the heat at the minute, it's it's muggy. Because it's cloudy now. Yeah. It's not as sunny. And it's just... It's thick. Mm-hmm. Not nice. Also, I have my window closed so that the dog... If the dog starts barking, it will pick up. Yeah. So that kind of doesn't help. And we have to stand very close together to share a mic. It's like penguins huddling for warmth. Yeah. That's the, that's the only thing I remember from, like, first year biology. I remember that our biology teacher liked Veggie Tales and I was buzzing. Oh, yeah, Cause I um, sang Veggie Tales too. Yeah. And then she sang Veggie Tales back and it was like, I like you. I also remember that my art teacher didn't like me to read because I was in art class. Because I thought I was being constructive. I was like, oh, yeah, I finished my artwork. I will read a book instead of just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. I was like... Like eleven year old me was like, Yes, this is a good idea, Judith. You're being you're being constructive, you're you're doing something good, the teacher will be proud of you. And then she came over and she was like, What are you doing? I was like, I'm 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 reading a book, I'm finished and she was like, You're not finished. She did that some more and I ended up just going over the same things again with my pencil. I did that all the time in art in first year. Second year onwards, like I liked the teacher, so yeah. it wasn't so bad. I think I think I liked the teacher because she liked me though too. Yeah. <laughs> that kinda helped. I'm just going to say a name there. I'm not saying names. Not saying names, no. Um, we were back up at the RNIB this week. Whoop, whoop. Um, doing some more stuff with the Crack On podcast. So we'll share that as soon as we can. Yeah, as soon as it's out, we'll share it. Um, but no, I really like the RNIB. Like, can can we borrow your podcast room? And yeah. just, like, because you do. It's really cool. Yeah, I really like I it. I got a big yellow microphone and I thought it was the coolest thing ever because it was like the sun. I wanted to... The only thing I don't like about it is like the headphones that like, they're noise cancelling headphones so they go over your ears and you just can't hear anything else. Which is good whenever you're recording a podcast and you just want to hear who's talking. But also, someone could sneak up behind you. That's why you just uncover one <laughs> Even ear. though it's like a wee tiny box room and I was and you facing see the, the door. door. Yeah. I was still like, someone's coming. Yeah, someone's just gonna creep up and put like their hand on my shoulder, and I would pee myself. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be about pee. <laughs> no, although I did pee a lot today because I'm hydrated. Stay hydrated, folks. But is staying that hydrated worth going to the toilet all that time? Like all those I times. I suppose I have to pee a lot anyway. Especially, I'll see on like warm holidays, like to Cyprus or whatever. Just constantly, like. I peed in the pool. Th- that's if that's I, when I learned how to pee in the pool. Like, if I, it was okay. Cause I just, if I got out every time I had to pee, I wouldn't be in the pool. I know what I was going to say. <laughs> I'd, I'd, be be like, pee- I'd get in, splash about a bit, be like, all right, sorry, I have to go again, and then run back out. I remember that, though. Like, the first couple of times, I was like, Mommy, I need to pee. Mommy, I need to pee. And she was like, just go in the pool. And then I was all like... All right enough, because they would have had to unlock the apartment and everything. And then I was like, Mommy, is that safe? But, like, I don't think I knew any horror stories of, like, you know, like, people get told as Wayne's that like alarms will go off if or the, the water changes colour yeah but I don't think we were ever told any of those horror stories our cousin did oh what 
Who? Yeah, Adam said that he was oh, like at yeah. a camp or something and he went, he peed in the water and like, I can't remember if he said the water changed colour. No, he said the alarms, alarms went, went off. off. And he was like, oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> and then swam away. But he was full of stories like that. It was good crack. Good yeah. crack. Yeah, um, R&IB stuff, keep an eye out for that. Um, it's going to be good. We talked about travelling. Yeah. Most, mostly travelling. Some other stuff too. I can't even remember. We talked about that much. It was it was it was really good. Yeah, it was, I really it was it. one of those times where you don't realise the time was going by because we were just sort of chatting away, and then next thing you know, half an hour's passed. So, yeah, sorry, Kirsty. Yeah, he has to go through all that. Yeah, and edit it out. Maybe it'll just be a bumper podcast for yeah. like summer holidays, and it'll be great crack. And then we'll get hired. Um, speaking of getting hired, nice segue. The next thing on my list here is jobs. Yeah, jobs. Hey, our hey. favourite topic of conversation. It's something that, like, mum and dad literally only ever talk about now. Yeah. It's just constantly like, what jobs have you applied for today? And it's like... Like, it used to be boys. <laughs> like, you, you don't know, got a boyfriend, boyfriend yet? yet. There's no nice boys at the gym. No, it's just like, have you not got a job yet? It's like, no, mummy. Are you even trying? Yes. That's yes, the I worst. Am. That's the worst, is it? Are you, are you even trying? It's like... No, I don't. I don't want a job. I want to live on the door forever and 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 live at home. Like no, yes, I'm trying to get a job. Like, I, want, I want money to travel, to get my own place. To I want to get a job that I enjoy. Get a decent gym membership. And if that means and decent gym clothes. Yeah, that that. But I want to get a job that I enjoy, even if that means getting a really rubbish job to start with, just to get the experience. Yeah, and then working my way up. But. But I did a couple of like quiz things and like questiony things and it's acting or like you know presenting and stuff like that. Yeah. Like it's not been... Did we talk about presenting at the jungle? We did in the last Yeah, podcast. we did, yeah. Yeah. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. I cannot say enough how much I enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, with a live audience. I yeah, that was really cool. Um yeah, I know I'm the same. Like acting or presenting would be the main thing. Yeah, I know that there's a lot of people in the same boat too, looking for jobs. And but then you see people and they just fall into a job straight out of uni. Like people are graduating now, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, I got a new job." And it's like, even if it's just part time work, it's still annoying. And then the people who get jobs and all they do is complain, and it's just sort of like, "Lad, give me your job because yes, I might complain, but I won't complain as much because I know how grateful I should be to have a job." Yeah. Like, I would. Yeah. No, I just want. All I can say, someone hire me. I need to put, do more backing on Skit Twins, I think. Yeah. It's been hard lately because mum always bakes cakes and stuff. And it's like, you don't have to have two cakes in the house. Um, yeah, like there's no one to give them to. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll try and get back into baking. We have an idea for one which we're really looking forward to. Oh, is this the we one just that we have to do in Donegal? Yeah. <gasps> it's going to be so good. Um, but we also have that other one that we were talking about in the way back from Belfast. Yeah. The one that we can do at home. I think it'll be really... So I think we'll put it out on Wednesday, hopefully, because we're going to Donegal on Wednesday, so we need to record it sort of Tuesday-ish. Yeah. So but it it should be good, but then the one that we're filming in Donegal, I am so excited I, for. I think it'll be really good, although the oven in Donegal isn't great, so the bake itself won't be great. But we can... We'll, we'll work around that with the magic some, of editing. Yeah, camera magic. Yeah. And shop-bought cookies. What? Huh? Hey. No. Moving on. <laughs> um. Yeah, the sun, the weather is the next thing, but we've already discussed that. Anti-cyclonic weather would be nice because then it would be like cold in the, at night time because the sky would be clear. Hold on, my phone's going off. Oh, the the geography nerds coming through. Um, right there with the anti-cyclone, which is basically a high pressure system. Yeah. I like that because it's sunny and warm during the day and then cold at night because there's no clouds and the heat escapes. I feel like we should have a geography segment now in the podcast. Yeah. Can this be the geography segment? Yeah. Anticyclonic weather in summer is good. Anticyclonic weather in winter is... Put the pen down before you drop it again. Okay. Um, here you go. I'll let you hold it. Um, anticyclonic weather in winter is bad because um, it gets really, really, really cold because the heat doesn't stay in because there's no clouds. And that's when you get burst water pipes it's and deep. frozen water and slippy, water uh, slippy ice. ice. And Especially injuries. if um, it snows as well. Yeah. Uh, if you remember back to winter of 2010. 
That was awful. That was an anticyclone because it was desperate altogether. It snowed and then it was an anticyclone, so the snow didn't melt, but it got like really crispy, and the snow just stayed and it was really icy. And then cold. even the winds by the end up were just sick of it because they were like, can't even make snowmen or snowballs because snowballs are like ice balls, and my mommy doesn't let me throw them what because they the, break the windows. What was winter like this year? Was did we get? Like did a we got some snow. snow. No, we got a bit. We we bit of snow. But oh, okay. I couldn't not, remember. Not a, not a big amount. We went sledging though that one time. Hey, we've got a hosepipe ban going on. Have we? Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Which kind of sucks. It means sort of everybody sort of turned a wee bit SAS. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say skimfy with their water, but yeah. No, but people just are like filling me. things up at night time, just sort of going, no one will see me in the dark. Yeah, no one will ever guess that this swimming pool is suddenly full in the morning and like... Oh, just I just rain. used I just used Bear Grylls, like, it's dew. It's, it's morning dew. I was going to say pee, but okay. You use your, like, I suppose that's sort of teaching people, like, use your bath water to water your plants and stuff. Like, you hear people... But who takes baths anymore? True. I'm Unless you're shy. using, like, lush bath bombs. I don't... Do bath bombs... Right, maybe whenever I was wee... We got really ru- whenever we were we, I should say, we got really rubbish bath bombs. Do- but do they not make the bath really gritty? Only like, if they don't they dissolve. dissolve. I think it was because we got like one each and we put them both in the bath at the same time, and it just it couldn't dissolve because we never got like a really full up bath. Like we got a bath that was yeah because we were <laughs> splashed everywhere. <laughs> I was gonna say we got a bath that was like full enough to cover our butts. <laughs> <laughs> just enough water to wash in. But yeah, no, that's, I don't, I don't know, baths. Showers are good as anything. Like, in you've baths, got, like, you're just sitting in your dirty water. I know, that's what I was going to say, like, uh Yeah. Although, there is something strangely satisfying about farting in the bath and getting the bubbles. Tearing the way, like. <laughs> <laughs> it, is very, noise. it is a very distinct it's sound. Specific, like, you know whenever, you know it. You know the sound. Like, we could put it in here, but we're not going to because we're not editing experts. But we could put the sound in and you'd just be like, Yep, that's a fart in the bath right there. You just spat on me. Sorry. Had any weird dreams lately? I have lots of weird dreams, but then it's like, you know, I need to make like a dream diary because I always remember them and then like I would tell you and then I would forget. Yeah. Lately it's been about like acting. Ooh, Which I guess is a sign of future. Um, yeah, no, there was one that I had, and I was I was driving a car, <gasps> like dreams, right dream. there, like that. The I goal. knew I knew it was a dream. <laughs> Unfortunately, as soon as I changed gear, I was like, "This is not right." I wanted to switch him back to triathlon train, and I really wanted to drive the tra- the tandem bike today, because I was just holding it, and I was like, "I could just get on and just go for a wee bush around this park." But then I was like, no, because there's so many people, I would knock someone down. It was funny, because we were cycling around, and I was like, oh, look, there's a person over there. Got up to it. It was a bin. <laughs> it was a bin. Life of a visually impaired person. <laughs> and then we came around again. Same thing. Oh, oh there's, there's, a there's a person. Oh, that's oh, it's, the bin oh, it's again. The bin. It's the, there's a bin there, Chloe. I do that all the time. Like, I always think, like, whenever there's plastic bags particularly black plastic bags in the road I'm always like oh it's a dead crow and then I'm walking past and I'm like oh it's a plastic bag okay (laughs) dead badger oh monkey what (laughs) I don't know anyway what were you saying I just feel like I would get animals confused I do at the zoo I'm so glad there's little signs at the zoo although I don't particularly like the zoo but like I'm glad there's signs because otherwise I'll be looking in and being like oh what a beautiful zebra Uh, excuse me this is the elephant enclosure all right Imagine confusing a zebra for an elephant. Is that what you said, a zebra? Yeah. Okay. I just thought I'd forgotten there. But like, to be fair, it's something that would happen to me. Yeah. Really? No. Like, unless what about, the enclosure like, was empty. A and lemur a... Or, or, and a panda, maybe. A lemur? No, pandas. Pandas don't climb trees. Lemurs do. Pandas do climb trees, do they not? Do they? Pandas can go down slides and they love it. What? Oh, yeah. They also sneeze and scare the life out of each other. <laughs> They can also I love do, videos like that. They can also do kung fu. Moving on. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Kung fu panda guys. Any other weird dreams apart from driving a car and acting? No. Have you any had? Have you any had weird dreams? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I do, I'm like you, I have weird dreams and then I forget them. I have written them down somewhere in a notebook, in my pile of many notebooks. notebooks. I have about a million notebooks and then some of them I'm like, no, these are good notebooks. I can't use this <gasps> notebook. Same. Like our friend Sarah, whenever we met, her, met up with her in London, she lives in England. I'm not even going to guess. That's not. I'm. I know where she lives in England, I just don't want people to stalk her. That's anyway, solid. Yeah, we met up with her in London and she got us a notebook and I'm like, oh, but this is my notebook from Sarah. I can't use this. And it's just going to be in my little special box forever. I'll and maybe it... like use the notebook eventually, but rip out the page that she wrote in and then just like laminate it or something and keep it forever. Oh, you're so cute. I'll just keep the notebook in my box forever and just bring it out and look at it and go, I have friends. <laughs> <laughs> It is, a, it is a nice feeling, like, I think I prefer giving gifts than receiving them because I like to think I'm quite good at buying presents. Yeah. Like, there's no better feeling, I think, than handing someone a present and being like, oh, they're gonna love this. I, always, I like to get, like, weird and sort of, like, not extreme presents, but, like, sort of, like, slightly wacky presents that like people what? are gonna be like, I don't know, like, I would get someone, like, I don't know, a meerkat toy or something like that. Oh, yeah, or, like, an armadillo or something. Yeah, like... I don't know, and like something that they would sort of look at or like hang up in their room and sort of like, Chloe got me that. I'd yeah. Be like, yeah, I did. That's probably, that's a really weird. Why would you have a knight's helmet in your room? Flip, I want a knight's helmet. And a sword, I'd love a sword. Even if it was like a plastic one, but like a good plastic one. Like a solid plastic one. Yeah. Like one mm. that could like, you could injure someone with it, but not cut them. No, I don't even mean like, it, it could be really thin, rubbish plastic, but as long as it looks good. Like, oh, it's shiny. Yeah. Like a proper cool sword. I want a sword. Not that I'm a, I don't think I'm a violent person, but just I think it would be. You looked at me. Don't give me that side eye. <laughs> You're violent. I think <laughs> we're both violent. We would have like mean streaks, which is why we should go back to karate just to get rid of that anger. I think that's um, the issue. I think whenever we were at karate, we weren't as bad. Just because we were getting out of the house and seeing people. Yeah, friends. We're meeting up with friends on Wednesday, that'll be fun. We're going to a place. Friendship. Woo! Yay! Um, so Judith, what are you reading at the minute? What am I reading? I'm rereading Doctor Who books because I... Like, I like reading. I, I would say that I, I love reading. But I've just sort of... Can't get a book that I can get Read. into. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, I really loved reading the Doctor Who books, so I'll read them again. And I got through one of them in about two days, and now I'm reading the other one, and I just haven't had a chance to read it. But I'm like, every time I think about it, I'm like, oh, I'm so buzzing to read that again. Um, what about you, Chloe? What are you reading? I'm reading Kid Normal, um, the second book by Chris Smith and Greg James. It's a good book. I finished it. Is a good it. Book. it is excellent. Um, but yeah, I just don't like the light in here at home. Yeah. I prefer the lighting down in Donegal or like so in a car or whatever, but I don't generally like reading in a car because it makes me sick. I used to be really good. Excuse me, sorry. I used to be really good at reading in the car, and then now I just I can't even look at my phone in the car because it makes yeah. me sick. <laughs> You're so burpy. <laughs> um, no, but do you prefer books like paper books or do you prefer like electronic? I books? knew you were gonna ask this. Um, I, I don't know. I like. I, I like both. Yeah. I like people like I like the feeling of holding an actual book in your hand and reading it, but it's also really hard to get like good lighting and a good place to sit and stuff. So I have a lot of books on my phone on Kindle, and I would read on that a lot, like a lot. But then I can't afford to buy more books on Kindle, so I'm just rereading old ones, which kind of sucks. But like, I would read that every evening and every morning just because reading. Yeah. But, no, I'm the same. Like books, like especially for someone with a visual impairment, books are kind of dodgy because some books smell weird. Yeah, there's nothing worse than a book that smells weird. Like it, some books almost smell vinegary. Yeah, no, it's, it's not just... the vinegary smell. It's like whenever they smell like too sweet, and it just gives you a sore head. Yeah, I have been so then, disappointed by books like that. And then you've got like awkward font, like type type font. Kids books are great though because kids books always have Yeah, it's usually like font. size 12, size 14 font. And it's... Roald Dahl books are great. Mm -hmm. I got like a pile of those off eBay Although it does year. depend on what Roald Dahl book you can get because you can get like the really cheap ones and they're really small because they're like trying to conserve paper so they're like oh yeah we can sell this for three ninety nine, provided we cut down these like 298 pages to like 12. Yeah, that's why I go for ones that I know are good. 
patterned ones on the outside. But yeah, Roald Dahl's a good author. A good author too. Yeah. So it's kind of like you need a book that sort of like catches you from maybe like the first chapter. Like whenever I'm reading books, I always try and give it at least two chapters. Yeah, that's always the rule. Or sort of saying, nah, it's not for me. But I mean, sometimes you just, you just can't even get two chapters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have parted. <laughs> Flashback to last episode. I thought it would be silent, but it wasn't. Oh, it's stinking. <laughs> Every, I know people in real life who listen to this, and I wasn't going to draw attention to it. <laughs> but it and stinks. Gonna, Hi, Robert. <laughs> but now they're going to see me and be like, you farted in the podcast. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, just, <laughs> just own it. Take me now, I Lord. fart in your face. <laughs> and you would faint. I'm so embarrassed. Please, if we meet in real life, just <laughs> let's just not mention this. <laughs> just say I liked your podcast, and then just give me a knowing nod, and I'll be like, "I'm really sorry." Yeah, don't wink at her because she won't, I won't see, see it. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you could say wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and then I'll sort of get it and be like, "Oh, flip." <laughs> it's funny on the RNIB podcast we got asked what our last episode was I called. Couldn't remember what it was I called. couldn't remember for a second, and then it just came to me like a slap on the face, and I was like, oh, "Fart and run." <laughs> And I was slightly embarrassed saying that on an RNIB podcast that's going to be, you know, it's not just going to be young people yeah. listening to it, it's going to be everyone. I hope, I hope that with us being on it and, like, I'm not saying that everyone else is boring, but, like, I think, I hope that we can bring it to, like, youth. Yeah, <laughs> to youth. The youth. How old am I? Youths. <laughs> yeah, Chloe, what do you think of Kid Normal so far? Because I've read it. And it's there's... really good. I really like it. But like I said, like I'd love to read more, but just I can't find the right lighting mm-hmm. that doesn't hurt my eyes. Because every time you read it, I'm like waiting for you to get to certain parts. And I'm like yeah, watching you. Yeah, the just... thing with Kid Normal is there's like lots of sort of, I guess, audience participation. Yeah. So there's parts where it's like, you have to read this out loud. And it's like, oh, okay. Or you have to... Nee na, nee na, nee na. Or you have to... Go to your nearest window, open it, and shout, I am the king of the pineapple people! Yeah. Definitely, if you're a parent or a If person, you're a parent, or a child, or an adolescent, or just an adult, or even just, like a half-adult. Or even a person. Or someone who breathes. Someone who reads, can read. Kid Normal is a great book. You don't even have to be able to read, because they have an audiobook version. <gasps> right enough. I, I really want to download that, and I'm too poor. It's really good. You don't know that? No, but I've heard the samples. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say, you're getting really close to the mic. Everything in your ear. It's like that S- ASMR stuff. Yeah, I don't get that. Oh, there's one, and I listened to it, and like it was sort of, it was within <gasps> another this video. The one where like, they chew chewing gum, and it's just no. A, it was oh. on like a podcast. Was it called the Kench Podcast or something like that? It's like this is going to be a music, a song, like um, only written only by eating an apple or something, and it was it made me want to book. It's just someone, the sound of someone eating an apple. I was just, ugh. you know what that reminds me of. My hatred of boomerang videos on Instagram. Oh, and they like, they do it of themselves, eating a spoonful of food. The spoon goes into their mouth and then out and and out. Like there's there's ways to do it that's tasteful. There's ways to do it that's like... Like, okay, if you're eating like a bowl of cereal or something, like film with the front camera lifting your spoon or something, like scooping up a a bit, but don't... I don't need to see it going in your mouth. Don't put it in your mouth. No, what else? Them like pouring out coffee in coffee machines. Oh, it's followed out. Oh, it's come back in. Oh, it's out. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's out. Or else people who just sort of like film a wee scene. Like, just sort of like almost trying to do a panoramic. Yeah. No, what I don't get is the wee wiggle. Girls in, in the mirrors of clubs and stuff, and they just do the wee wiggle. That point. Just take a picture. What do you use? I would use boomerang for like a jump shot. Yeah. Like, because I think that's I the kinda only like thing. The, I kind of like the panoramic idea of just sort of showing the... You. It depends how fast you go because sometimes it gives you a sore head because you're like, hang on, where are you? It's too blurry. Yeah. Like, I, I, that's what I would use it for. I would use it for like the view, the scenery, whatever. Mm. List of what we were going to talk about and just trying to read it. I thought you would sort of keep it going there while I looked, but you didn't. Sorry. Yeah, look, you look there. I did, yeah. The next one was annoying phrases, but I think we covered that last week with you saying like. Oh yeah, I haven't even been thinking about that. 
hope the audio quality is slightly better because I know that in the last podcast it was quite clicky. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so we're back to the old microphone, so hopefully it doesn't cut out. Um, I'm currently looking at the like audio readings, sort of paying close attention to that to make sure it doesn't cut out. Yeah. I and think it's all right. I think it's doing good. You keep starting too far away from the mic. But I can see the it. rings and they're pure huge when I'm here. And then I feel like I have to stand back because I'm speaking really loud. But you're speaking quieter than me. I know. <laughs> oh, dog. This is why I closed the window. That's okay. So like annoying phrases, do you have any other ones that aren't like? Like things that like you hear people say that annoy you? I don't like being referred to as a woman or a lady. Yeah, it really it makes me feel awkward. It's yeah. like, we even let the lady through, and I'm like looking around me going, who, what, where? Oh, me! <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it doesn't annoy me. It but just you're a lady, of, you're a woman. Like, you're not like a, a little girl anymore. anymore. Yeah, no, yeah. It just freaks me out. It makes me feel too old and adulty, and I'm not. Um, what other phrases annoy me? What other things annoy me? This Let's be touch base. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Why does it annoy you so much, though? I just, I don't know, it just feels weird whenever, like, I don't know, it just feels weird, it just... Like, why would you, why would you touch a base? Base of I what? Guess it's base of a lamp? Baseball? Would it be yeah, something no, about I think baseball? it is, yeah. Because yeah. um, you touch the base before you swing. Yeah. I don't know, I just, it just makes me feel weird. I just don't like it. Um, I can't think of any annoying phrases. Come back to me in that next <laughs> week. I'll try and remember to write stuff down. Okay, okay. Uh, so England are through to the semi-finals of the World Cup. England. It's coming, it's home, coming home. Apparently. Yeah. I. Not. I mean, I'm not overly interested in football, but I keep an eye on the scores. But like, I wouldn't watch it because football's boring. Football. It's too. Chaotic. N- yeah, but also the ball sometimes moves like way too fast, and I'm like, sort of like it's like tennis. I don't see where the ball is, I just sort of see where the people are congregating. I'm like, oh, ball must be there. Fair <laughs> enough. No, I'm not, I I wouldn't be a killjoy. I wouldn't be like, oh, what's the point of it? Yeah. It's like, not even that great. Like, fair enough. Like, yeah, we're getting excited that England might win the World Cup. Like, you know, we we'll probably, mean, probably won't, yeah. but like, you know, they might. They're, they're getting close. But I, myself, am not like that hyped by it. Yeah, like I like sort of messing around with football, but I don't take it seriously. Yeah. Like I would go out for a kickabout or whatever, but I wouldn't sort of be like, oh, let's play a game and you have to win and most goals wins and I just And then we'll go to penalties and... No. I would, I much prefer rugby. I could watch a full rugby match and be fully invested. (laughs) Yeah. Like the Rugby World Cup. Was that last year? Yeah. I was fully like, Ireland! Yeah! That was all for New Zealand boys. They know how to play rugby. So does, but so does Ireland. I know, but New Zealand are just better. Like they've got the haka, and it's just sort of. But they're huge. They're, like a lot of them are really like muscly, massive. That's what you need to be a rugby player, though. Apart I know, from but... unless you're like a a back, in which case you need to be a wee whippet. I was a back, but I was I was never really that fast. <laughs> I was put as a forward, and I'm not that big. Like. I'm bigger than you. Slightly. But, like, I wasn't as big as everybody else who was doing rugby in the forwards. Like, I looked just out of place. It was like having a row of lions and then you as a wee puppy just going, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's pure buzzing to be there, though. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to run through everyone. Oh, okay, right. That just, like, hitting a brick wall. Right, I'm down. That kind of (laughs) hurt. You always got really badly injured in rugby. I was always a fr- that was I got stamped one. in the stomach and got like kicked boot- in the head. I got boot marks and I had like do you remember that? I had yeah. bruises on my tummy that were like a boot mark. And then I had boot mark bruises on my knee. I was always really afraid of getting injured, but then whenever I like went in for a tackle I was just like, This is it, all or nothing. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> this is where I die, but everything's fine. Yeah. I was like, Okay, I'm gonna break my neck. Um, but I never did break anything or get badly injured, so it's all good. I mean, I hurt my shoulder, but I've had a dodgy shoulder for ages, so. We do a wee, do you have any ideas for, we are going to do room 101, but we didn't really think about it beforehand, so we were just sort of like, we put it down in the hopes that something would sort of pop into our yeah. heads. Um, I think mine would probably be the boomerang thing. I think that would be my main yeah. pet peeve at the minute. It's, it's, I mean, I don't mind them. Like, by all means use them, but just I personally wouldn't. Yeah. And I'm not, 
Well, no, the one when you're putting food in your mouth. Just please don't do that. Everyone send Drink, her that now. Drinking from a cup is fine. Like, taking a sip of coffee or whatever, that's fine. Especially if the cup's funny. Yeah. Like, if it has a wee moustache on the bottom or something like that, it's funny. But it's just putting a spoon, like, right in your mouth and closing your lips over it and then bringing it back out. Like, that is just... Nah, why would you do that? Mine actually sort of goes back to whenever we were talking about jobs. Um, I had a job interview on Wednesday and... Uh, the idea was we had to come up with a TV show and I sort of vaguely mentioned sort of disability and everyone jumped on board with it, which is great, but none of them had a clue. They were sort of like, oh yeah, visually impaired people, like, what would you do to help them? Oh, you'd, you'd, you'd grab them by the hand and help them cross the road. And I was like, excuse no. me, excuse me, no. And sort of I tried to explain my own eyesight to them and then they were sort of like, yeah, so I would grab your hand and help you across the road. And I was like, but you know nothing about me. You don't know how far I can see. And they just could not get that into their heads, which is why, I guess, we do the VI files. And it sort of made me sort of, like, more aware of that. But it was just... They were so... Blind. <laughs> Bringing that back, um, a triathlon training and stuff, they're, they're really good at that. Sort of, they would be like, oh, so how far can you see? Or, yeah. like, what can you see? Because we have to get guided in the swimming. We're on the back of a tandem bike, and then we have to get like hold on to a tether or whatever with the person when we're running mm -hmm. but we've now decided that whenever we're running we don't need a tether because we can see far enough like ta the the bikes would be terrifying because we would be at a corner before we realize it and the and swimming swim. i suppose if it's open water it's knowing when to turn and i suppose it's really splashy and stuff anyway so yeah um you know that just really annoyed me people who just they just assumed, and I was sort of like, I was trying to explain that no. Yeah, so it's you people can't do that, that it's people that don't listen when you're trying to explain it. Yeah, it? like in anything. Yeah. Like, so rather than, rather than you being mad about people who just don't understand, it's people who don't want to listen to understand. Yeah. They yeah. sort of had their own ideas, and then they were just sort of like, yeah, this is right, let's go with this. And I was like, um, no, but I was sort of stuck in a group of everybody thinking that way, so I just sort of had to go with it. Yeah. But like, look disapprovingly at them whenever they said it, and just remember they were doing head. the pitch, just like, no, guys, no. Yeah. yeah, I hope that job interview went good. I think by the sounds of it, you, you had a good time. I, I, was just, I enjoyed it, but I was just wandering around Belfast, around the shops, because yeah. I don't get out much. <laughs> <laughs> you just go to the gym. Yeah, no, the gym was, is all I know. And I was walking around, and my feet actually got really sore just walking. And I was like, I could run for like an hour, and my feet would be fine. But I've been walking around for like an hour, and I'm I'm dying. I need to sit down. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I think that's all we've got for you in this podcast. It's a bit shorter than usual, but that's probably better. I think last time we just sort of tried to drag it out. Yeah, but um, if you I'm have any questions or comments. Uh, tweet us. Oh, hold on. I put out a tweet. Did anyone tweet back? Oh, do you put out a tweet um, whenever we started this podcast? If anyone wanted us to do any challenges or if they had any questions, she's just going to check that. No. No one did. No one replied. Okay, thanks guys. Yes. Uh, keep an eye on our Twitter and I the next time we do that, could you could you answer us? I should probably have done it earlier, in fairness. Yeah. But I just kind of thought, we kind of weren't, we weren't going to do a podcast yeah. when we did. So. But anyway, if you have any comments or questions or feedback, uh, skit under slash twins underscore twins skit underscore twins that's s-k-i-t underscore t-w-i-n-s yeah and that's twitter and instagram or skit underscore twins uh facebook just search skit twins and youtube search skit twins or bake off which is b-e-k-e-a-f-f um, I put out a poll there on Twitter the other night and asked if people would be interested in us doing a podcast solely about our eyesight and about what we can and can't see and our experiences and stuff. And I think we got about five votes on the poll and they all said yes, so that was good. Um, so we'll maybe look into doing that as a sort of or maybe one. Do, do the poll again maybe and pin it to the top of our Twitter. Yeah, and put it for like a week or something. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. So if you've already voted, vote again and we'll try and do something. So remember to give us a wee like or a review on iTunes Roo, or Roo. or on YouTube, depending on or on SoundCloud because we're on all three of those now. Um, but yeah, share it with your friends. Give us a like. Give us a rating or comment or whatever. Um, share things. it as well. Yeah, please. It doesn't take that. It's not that hard to do. And Leave a review as well. Let us know what you liked and what you didn't like. Whether it's on iTunes or just on Twitter or YouTube, whatever. Just let us know what you enjoyed and what you didn't and. 
yeah, where you're listening, when you're listening, who you're listening with. Are you listening on the toilet? Yeah, I'd like who to knows? know. I'd like to know who listens on the toilet or in the shower that or in the bath. That would be kind of creepy. Imagine them listening in the bath and us talking about farts in the bath. Beat us if you farted in the bath. Bubbles. We do koozie. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Peace out. Take oh, care, be good. Dogs. Stay groovy, cool cats. Make good choices. Bye. Bye. Bye.